Hey, my name is Jim Sturdivant. I am Kaya's grandpa. And I am with you today to read this book called The Lucky Friday the 13th. Because today is Friday the 13th. And it's a perfect day to read a book like this. This book was written by artificial intelligence and myself. We worked together to create this story about Friday the 13th for you. So sit back and enjoy. Once upon a Thursday, October 12th, in the beautiful town of Westerville, the students at Point View Elementary seemed nervous. Three students, Kaya, Miles, and Lily, talked to one another in whispers in Miss Blue's class. Do you know what tomorrow is? Kaya whispered to her two buddies. Yes. Miles responded in a hushed voice. It's Friday the 13th, the unluckiest day of the year. Lily responded in a loud voice. That means we can't walk under ladders, break any mirrors, or even come close to a black cat. If we do, everyone will suffer. This will be the worst Friday ever. Lily spoke so loudly that Miss Bluth took notice. What are you three talking about, she asked. Kaya answered, it's Friday the 13th tomorrow. We've heard that it's unlucky. Why do people think that? Is it unlucky? How can we make tomorrow a better day? Miss Bluth responded, I love these questions. Sure, I could tell you what I think, but I have an idea. It would be better if you three worked together to find the answers. In fact, Kaya, Miles, and Lily, you three come to class tomorrow and tell us what you find out. If you're worried about Friday the 13th, I'm sure some of your classmates are too. Now, Miles looked worried. How are we supposed to learn about Friday the 13th, he cried. That's a great question, Miles, Ms. Bluth answered. How do you think you could find information on Friday the 13th? Well, I guess I could ask my mom, Miles responded. Good start, said Ms. Bluth. Lily said, I, we could look it up online. Yep, cheered on Miss Bluth. And then Kaya jumped in and said, how about if we ask our school librarian? I love it, cried Miss Bluth. I'm gonna write you three a hall pass and you can go to the library right now and ask Dr. Page. Kaya, Miles, and Lily hurried down the hall excitedly. They loved going to the library. There were bright posters everywhere. There were comfortable chairs where kids could sit and read. There were computers where kids could find information online. And there to greet them was the tall and friendly Dr. Page. Hey kids, he said in his deep friendly voice. How can I help you? Excited Lily yelled, we're here to find answers. Kaya jumped in. We need to learn about Friday the 13th. Miles added, we need to give a report to our classmates tomorrow, and we thought you could help. Lily couldn't help herself. She asked, why are you called Dr. Page? Shouldn't you work in a hospital instead of a school? Dr. Page laughed and said, that's a great question. I'm what you call a reference librarian. I help people get answers. I have a PhD in library science. What's a PhD? yelled Lily. Again, Dr. Page laughed. It's kind of strange. It means doctor of philosophy. I'm not sure why they put the PH first and then follow it by the D. The kids ask great questions. After I'm done helping you, I'm going to look that up. What it means is that I went to school for a really long time. It's like I'm in the 20th grade. Kaya, Miles, and Lily were shocked by this. Dr. Page continued, so what are your questions? Kaya started, 
Why do people think that Friday the 13th is unlucky? Miles added, is Friday the 13th unlucky? And Lily followed, how can we make Friday the 13th a better day? Dr. Page became excited. We reference librarians help people find answers to tough questions like this. We recommend books and help folks research online. But another thing that we encourage is for seekers to interview experts. You just happen to be talking to one. To get a PhD in library science, you must write a really big research paper. Mine was based on superstitions. I guess you could say that you kids are in luck. I'm an expert. Yeah, but that doesn't count. It's only the 12th. It's only Thursday, Kaya pointed out. And, and what are superstitions? Bravo! Dr. Page congratulated Kaya. That's an important question. Superstition is a belief that something doesn't follow the laws of science. Here's an example. A kid may think that if they don't wear their lucky soccer socks to the game, they won't play as well. People thinking that Friday the 13th is unlucky is a superstition, just like that. So, Miles chimed in, are you saying that Friday the 13th isn't unlucky? Dr. Page loved this question. Yes, that's what I mean, but the world doesn't always act as it should. And before I explain further, there's a word for being afraid of the number 13. It's triskaidekaphobia. All three students practiced saying this very difficult word. Dr. Page went on. Over the centuries, superstitions become stronger. 12 was seen as a great number. There are 12 months in the year. There were 12 gods who lived on Mount Olympus in ancient Greece, and 12 yummy donuts make a dozen. 13 just seemed odd, and so sadly, people began to fear it. Kaya said, that's not fair. I feel sorry for 13. She then asked, why do people have a problem with Friday? I love Friday. So do I and most modern people, said Dr. Page. But the early Christians feared Friday because they believed that that was the day that Jesus died. So if you put the fear of the number 13 with the fear of Friday together, like what's happening tomorrow, by the way, some people get nervous about bad things happening. I'm confused, said Lily. Is Friday the 13th unlucky or not? I don't blame you, said Dr. Page. Think of it this way. Sometimes you think that you are going to have bad luck and then you get nervous. You don't do as well because of this nervousness. Think about my example of the lucky soccer socks. You forget your lucky socks and then you don't play as well in the game. But were the socks to blame? The kids thought about this for a moment. Then they all said, no. What caused you to have a bad game could be a lot of things, including your feelings about not wearing your lucky socks. Your feelings about a superstition like lucky socks are really important, Dr. Page added. So, Miles said, we might be creating our own luck, good or bad. You just might, clapped Dr. Page. After the meeting with Dr. Page, it was Kaya that had a great idea. Let's tell our classmates about why Friday the 13th is considered unlucky, like we learned from Dr. Page. But I have a plan on how we can make tomorrow lucky instead of unlucky. Before our class presentation, 
Each of us needs to do one thing to make someone else lucky. If we can get enough people to do this, a lot of people will have a lucky Friday the 13th. We will tell our class about what we each did and then hopefully they will do something helpful for another person. The next morning, Kaya, Miles, and Lily woke up excited about finding a way to help someone before their presentation to their classmates. Miles struck first. He noticed something as he was getting ready for school. His mom was also getting ready for work, but she seemed in a big rush. She was also folding a load of towels before she had to get him and his sister breakfast. Miles asked his mom, do you need help with those towels? His mom nearly cried because she was so happy. Yes, Miles, that would be wonderful. Miles helped put her in a great mood for the rest of the morning, and she helped someone else who was struggling at work because she remembered her son's example. Lily's chance came at school before the bell rang. She noticed that a boy from her class was sitting by himself and seemed upset. She sat beside him and asked him what was wrong. He told her that he was nervous about the spelling test that day. For the next 10 minutes, Lily helped him practice his words. It helped. Her classmate began to smile with confidence. He did much better on his test. He remembered Lily's kind act and helped his little brother complete his chores when he got home from school. Kaya's chance to help also came before school. On her way to the bus stop, she noticed a $5 bill lying in the grass. She picked up the bill and put it in her pocket. She waited for a few moments and watched to see if anyone came looking for it. No one did. Once she got on the bus, she decided. She wanted to keep the money, but she decided that someone probably needed the money more than her. She knew exactly how she could make this Friday the 13th luckier. When she got to school, she went straight to the office to the front counter and put the bill in the collection jar for the Humane Society. This money will go to find, finding homes for dogs and cats. Maybe she can help a lonely person find a pet and help a pet find a forever home. The Humane Society stopped by the school that Friday and collected the donations. Kaya's donation helped fund an advertisement on Facebook for a black cat called Lucky. It's funny to think of a black cat getting adopted on Friday the 13th and one named Lucky. Someone who wanted a kitty saw the ad and went to the Humane Society and adopted their new best friend. At the end of their presentation, Kaya, Miles, and Lily faced their classmates and asked, what can you do to help someone and make this a lucky Friday the 13th? The students all started planning and talking. After a couple of minutes, many had a plan. Those who didn't were determined to get one. And finally, Ms. Bluth wrote, Friday, October 13th is going to be a lucky day on the board. Just before the bell rang, Kaya jumped up and said, there's another Friday the 13th coming in February. Hey, thank you so much for, for listening. It was such an honor to read this. Y'all have a great Friday the 13th.